welcome to Abstract Boss. My name is Ashley, and today I'm going to tell you guys what an artist gets when they reach 10,000 subscribers. First off, I want to say thank you guys so, so much, each and every single one of you, for helping me reach 10,000. Y'all are amazing, and I am so appreciative, so thank you. Now, I also just want to clarify, this is not something that YouTube sent me. This is something that I set as a goal for myself. And because I achieved that goal, this was the reward that I also set for myself for obtaining that goal. So I found this super cool play button on um, Etsy. And I thought it looked so neat. It was different, unique. It was a 3D print YouTube play button. And so I decided to get that. You guys can kind of see like how angled it is and stuff. Yeah. I love it. I thought it was really cool. And so uh, that was my reward. So once I hit 10K, I ordered that. It took a little while to get in, um, but I'm gonna show you guys what I did to it. First off, I started with just a normal pour. I had some pre-mixed paints and I went ahead and layered them and I was just gonna do a flip cup. I didn't know what it would be like flipping on top of this surface cause it's not, like this play button sticks up. So I didn't know what that would be like. And so because of that, I just decided um, to flip it over onto a coaster, like a giant pot holder coaster and then slide it off. And that did not work very well. So I didn't like the pour at all. I kept trying to recover it and do some more stuff to it. And I just really did not like it. And so I actually just washed it off. I wasn't gonna sit this one aside and just wait and see if I liked it. I knew I didn't like it. And so definitely goes to say, trust your intuition. If you know you're not liking a piece, don't be afraid to scratch it. So what I did was I switched it around and I decided to go ahead and just do a nice, elegant black, white, and gold. I actually really wanted it to match the stuff that I have back up here. And so that was kind of why I decided to also change my mind. I like the whole teal and hot pink. It was looking great together, but the pour itself didn't do well when I did the coaster thing. So I just decided to switch it up and did the black, white, and gold. And then once I poured, I initially just tried to do gold leafing right along the edge of the play button, just right along there. Um, and that looked great too, but I don't know. I felt like that whole play button just needed to stand out. So I decided to gold leaf the whole thing and I wanted it to be nice and shiny. Look at that. Shiny, shiny. So I used um, some Mod Podge to put on top of that. I just used the extra gloss. And you guys, I love this. I think it's fantastic. I am so excited. But, super short, quick, simple video, I know. But there is something amazing I wanted to go ahead and leave here right at the end. So if you guys have any questions about the pour or anything, just let me know in the bottom below. I did end up doing a dirty pour right on top. Um, it worked way better than trying to use the coaster. And, da 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 this is going to be my giveaway. I am doing a giveaway, a free print, and there's only one thing I want you guys to do. Look at that. It's metallic. So because you can't quite represent glitter on a print, I decided to do the metallic and it looks amazing. I love it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do this as a giveaway. So all you guys have to do to win is comment below with your greatest achievement this year. You figure it out for you. Leave it in the comments below and that's all you got to do. Yeah. Well, of course you gotta be following me though. So I like to talk about accomplishments because I really want people to focus about what they have achieved, not what they haven't yet achieved. So please let me know in the comments below and that will enter you.